There's going to be a slight decrease on your XL bill coming up. The utility paid less for natural gas than expected and is required to pass that savings along to you. Same goes for passing along the extra cost when the gas is more expensive. The gray area where XL makes its green, that's where it has to ask regulators to approve profit margins on other projects. Many of you have asked us if regulators ever say no to XL. Our Marshall Zellinger has learned it's complicated, but it has happened. After looking at your bills, one of the questions you have asked repeatedly, does the Public Utilities Commission ever say no to Excel asking for a rate increase? I don't think I've ever seen the PUC say no to a rate hike. John in Westminster is not the only one to ask about this. James in Arvada and Phil and Mary in Littleton wanted to know too. On your gas bill, the base rate is the amount that makes up your service and facility charge and your usage charge. Does the PUC ever say no when Excel wants to raise these amounts? You know, a lot of our exercises show us your design, show us your receipts. We want to check and make sure that it made sense that this was the least cost way to provide the service. Erin O'Neill is the PUC's chief economist and makes recommendations to the commission when companies like Excel ask for higher rates. Take, for example, the 64 million rate hike that took effect in November. Excel originally asked the PUC for 214 million. Does that mean the PUC said no to 150 million? Uh, yeah. That's what that means. So yes, the PUC does say no to rate increases line by line. I want to show you some of the documents that make up the rate case request. I prefer to do it digitally with graphics, but it would crash my computer. The PUC's final decision about what was included and not included in Excel's most recent gas rate hike is 117 pages. This is just the decision. The arguments and evidence that led up to the decision took out some of the forest. That's probably a reasonable estimate, 10,000 pages of information. So what are in these documents? What are we paying for in our base rate? Only the stuff the company is actually using to the benefit of freight payers to provide service. That's all the pipes, all the trucks, all the power plants, all the transmission lines, all the distribution lines. Those are examples of what Excel gets paid back plus interest. This specific request also included smaller expenses, 234,000 in extra perks for the Excel Board of Directors. The PUC said no to half of the amount, writing, a sharing of compensation expense between investors and rate payers is appropriate. Excel also wanted almost 900,000 for long-term incentives for employees, arguing denial would mean the company is recovering less than the compensation it pays employees. The PUC took its staff's recommendation and said no to the 900000 Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose, but I think the, the point is to provide the oversight and make the, question, the company answer the questions. I forgot the 117 pages that I was going to wave in front of you. That, uh, it's basically a nine-month lawsuit. That's why it's so robust. It has witnesses, evidence, hearings, arguments from Excel, the PUC staff, our public defender, the Office of Utility Consumer Advocate. Sometimes groups that want to intervene and be heard also get involved. And the 117 pages is the end result. Separately from this, real quickly, you mentioned at the top that our bills are not going to be as high yeah. as, as we expected because we're getting a little kickback yeah. because the gas cost wasn't as much as Excel thought. When Excel or any utility uh, predicts the next three months of fuel that it needs and we don't give them enough, they come back to us for more. When we give them too much and they give us a credit like now, that credit comes with a little bit of interest. Oh. Probably minuscule pennies yeah, yeah. when you divide it out, but interest. But that's cool of them. Yeah, I mean, that's nice of them to do. I feel like there's a lot of people who have become more informed about this process. Honestly, through your reporting and the stuff that you've talked about over the last couple of weeks, if they want to get involved, like, do you have to be an expert? Can you just be like Joe or Jane ratepayer that wants to weigh in? Yeah, and the funny email address that we showed two weeks ago, if you go to the Utility Consumer Advocate website at the top, you can fill out a Google form and just mm -hmm. tell them your complaints. And I believe there's one on the PUC website that goes straight to the commission. Tell them your complaint through a Google form. They've streamlined it. Now, the question is, what do they do with it? Yeah, that's too complicated. Can you link to it in tonight's story on 9news.com? I will. Okay, I appreciate that. Thanks, Marshall.